State lawmakers will head back to Montgomery next week for the organizational session. They're going to be working out of a building in much need of work and repairs. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beertemple has a closer look on why some say it's time for a new state house. Now from the outside, you might not notice anything wrong with Alabama's state house, but those who've worked inside for decades say otherwise. That includes Secretary of the Senate Patrick Harris. Best way to describe this building is just an old, sad building. He says the 60 year old building is showing age to put it lightly from electrical fires. We've had a fire downstairs to aging infrastructure leading to broken pipes and flooding. The roof leaks and the pipes are old to non-compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. So we have to redo bathrooms everything in between. Well, they don't even make those elevators anymore, and so we have to redo those elevators. Stairwells are not necessarily safe. Harris says the building is in serious need of repair, but he says that isn't even the biggest issue. But the main problem that we have here is that this building is just not accommodated to accommodating to the public coming in and watching how government works. And it was never intended for legislative use. The state house used to be an office building for the highway department until 1985 when lawmakers moved in from the Capitol on what was supposed to be a temporary basis. Harris says the committee spaces are small and the overall layout doesn't encourage participation in government. Kind of a nightmare when it comes to access for the public. Harris isn't alone in thinking it's time for a new state house. In a March 2020 assessment, engineers determined it would cost more than $50 million to address the building's many needs and more than $120 million to replace it entirely. So just so many, so long that you can patch stuff up that it just is not patchable anymore. Now the retirement systems of Alabama, which owns many of the buildings here in downtown Montgomery, would be a part of the financing and construction if a new state house were to be built. A spokesperson for the RSA says that conversations have happened, but there are no concrete plans in place. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.